I think what I've learned about balancing my life at Carleton is that it's up to me to set the boundaries and create the balance that I want. There is always more prep work I can do for my classes. There's always one more experiment I can do before I leave. There is always another committee that is doing things I'm passionate about that I could join. The institution, and by that I mean the administration, the department, my colleagues and the students, will take as much as I will give and it is rare that they will compensate me in terms of time or money for going above and beyond. This doesn't mean that I don't do my best or that I don't go above and beyond, but what it does mean is that I need to find ways to enforce my values and protect my time. Even as a junior faculty member, I had to find ways to take care of myself. I did this by first valuing myself and my needs, and then by finding a supportive department chair or other colleagues that could help me strategize ways so that I could set healthy boundaries. I know that my Google Calendar is a major resource I use to help me organize my time, so I use it as a tool to help me enforce my values. I schedule time to go to the gym, I schedule time with friends, I schedule time with my husband, I schedule this time around my teaching obligations and before the term even starts. This allows me to protect that time so that others cannot schedule over it. And I know that I will have that time to take care of myself and spend time with those I value most.